What's up guys, how we doing? Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, this is pretty much going to be tackle talk in this one tonight. Um, got my, my hot chocolate here. Um, so I am prepping for a offshore kayak fishing trip coming up this week. Um, it is the Georgia Kayak Fishing Camp and Paddle at Fort Pickens, which is pretty much Pensacola. Got a bunch of campsites. Um, we're gonna kayak fish in the AM, hang out on the beach in the PM, probably go out and eat in some awesome restaurants. And uh, really looking forward to it. So, you gotta prep my tackle. Um, Y'all know me, I don't like taking every hook and swivel I got. So, um, I like to go through last year's stuff, which these skirts, we'll talk more about these here in a minute. Um, this is from like two or three years ago, but this is kind of glow in the dark. So what we're going to do is we're going to recycle some of the gear that we've used in the years past, basically. So these skirts we're going to recycle. Um, these are going to go on king rigs. And uh, pink is usually a really hot color in the Gulf. So I typically have a bunch of these left over for season to season. Um, chartreuse is a good color as well, too. And this one glows in the dark. So this one might be a cool something to throw behind the boat at twilight or at dusk or you know when it's when it's kind of dark outside um so this is the type of tackle that we're going to be fishing with um down here is leader material this is your malin hardwire i use anywhere between 40 to 80 pound um of course the lighter you use the easier it is to to work with to cut and to twist up a haywire twist and um just dealing with it in general but it's always cheaper to recycle your old gear recycle your old hooks use those bulk um, deals that you can find as opposed to going out and buying you know six bucks four bucks for a single king rig um, it can get expensive when the sharks come calling on these things and uh, you know they will absolutely wreck a king rig so I'll buy a few from the shop. Um, I'll pick up a few down there at the tackle shop. But you know, for what I got, I'm, I'm definitely going to kind of refurbish some of this stuff to where it's going to be usable for me this week. So, anytime you're messing around with this hand wire, um, hard wire leaders, heavy leaders, that sort of thing, you're going to need something to cut it with. Um, and I use these P line tools. Um, this is actually a cheap set but they work great um they're great at the bench you know making tackle and uh they're also great you'll see this whole bundle of stuff uh bait knife hemostats and pliers um, i usually attach this to my life jacket when i'm out on the water So the reason we use this single strand wire is because a lot of fish out there in the ocean have teeth that will slice right through monofilament or right through uh, fluorocarbon. Uh, they've just got razor sharp teeth, mackerel, they'll cut you off quick, um, sharks of course will cut you off quick, bluefish, they've got some pretty nasty teeth. Um, so if you're going to be fishing with live bait and those types of fish are in the area, it's a good bet to use some of this this mailing hard wire stuff single strand wire just like that and if you make rigs yourself it's not that expensive um, it's usually when you buy five or six at a time and lose five or six at a time then it gets kind of steep. All right, so we're gonna do a couple things. Um, we're gonna make your traditional live bait rigs, uh, let's see, which is this right here. This is your traditional live bait rig that you're gonna get at the store. Um, it'll either have two treble hooks on it or a single hook in the front 
And then a treble hook is a stinger, which is generally about six inches back from the front hook. All these knots used to tie this up is called a haywire twist. I'll see if I can't get some macro shots of these um, and sub into the video just to show you guys what's up. They're real easy to tie. Um, you just need something to cut it with. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie some easy single hook rings. So basically, it's just gonna be a piece of wire, haywire twist on a hook. So to haywire twist it, you run it through the eye, you pinch, and you twist it seven or eight times till it gets wrapped up. So we want to get about four or five good twists there we go once we got four or five real good twists on there we're just going to take that tag in pull that out to a 90 degree angle and then just start wrapping it around And then just wrap it and stack the wraps right on top of each other. See, this is why you want to do this at home because this is a big pain in the butt if you're sitting in a kayak and you run out of rigs and you've got to do this with the waves hitting the side of you and flipping you around and turning sideways. It's a pain. Not super clean, but it'll fish. Cut that tag in off, and we'll just bend that last piece on around. There we go. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll try to zoom in on it for you. So that's what we want to start with, a um, little bit more than a foot long piece of wire with a treble hook on the end of it. So what we're going to do on the other end here is we are going to tie the same haywire twist, we're just going to tie it to a swivel. There we go. Alright, so this rig as it is now is fishable. Um, if you get out on the end of piers, You'll see guys that are fishing for mackerel um, fishing with this exact same rig, which is about a foot to a foot and a half long piece of wire. 
haywire twist on both sides and just a single either sometimes it's a circle hook but most of the time guys are using uh, treble hooks um, mackerel they hit so hard and so fast I mean you just got to get a hook in when you can but uh, this rig right here will fish um, it's castable you might not want to use dead bait on this while you could um, in many cases just feeding this into the water with a dead bait on it is going to get bit but uh, a lot of the times the frozen bait kind of mushy and uh, if you try to cast any distance with it it'll come off the hook or uh, you know it'll damage itself on the way out there and then you'll lose your bait so what I'll do is I think I'm gonna make about four or five of these and then store them as is. Now if I want to add a stinger onto this I would basically do a haywire twist through the eye of the hook both the leader line and the stinger line would be on their own separate loop against the hook eye you know they wouldn't be looped one piece of wire to the next that they cut each other like that. Um, yeah, I'll make a bunch of these right around a little over a foot um, with a single treble hook on it and then we'll put together some stinger lines. Might tie a few of those up. But that's a good, like I said, once you get out past the breakers, once a school of fish is floating around and you can catch fish on Sabiki lines, uh, you take those live fish, put it through the nostrils or put it under the, uh, the what's it, the tail fin or the dorsal fin and uh, just let him go and that rig right there will catch fish and you won't get cut off with mackerel or shark or any of the other mini fish out there that have razor sharp teeth. 